Justin Rees Larkham lost three quarters of a million pounds, his family and his job, and it all started quite late on in life with a, just a five a bet, a five pound bet. Yes. How um, old were you when you placed this bet? Forty. Forty yeah. and a wealthy man. Absolutely. Never had a problem with gambling before. No. Nope. And you've nope. never bet before. No, absolutely not. What was it on? What did you bet on? Um, I was a game of rugby. I was at home. Um, I'm ex-military, so maybe there's a bit of a thrill seeker in me. Uh, I reached a bit of a plateau at work. Um, my little son, Matthew, who was 11 months old, had nearly died in my arms just a week, couple of weeks before. Right. Um, and I suddenly saw one of the adverts. I really saw it for the first time. 18% like of every advert is a gambling-related advert on TV, but for the first time, I saw it one. Clicked. Yeah. yeah, and you and you won. I won, and I, do you know what? I asked myself, what would have happened if, if I'd lost, lost that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You put five pounds down as a bet. What did you win? I won my five pound stake back. Um, it was a that five was pound it? free bet. Yeah, that was it. You I, didn't I, win a huge amount of money that then made you think I can keep doing this. And no, you... and you know this is the worst thing about gambling addiction. It's always gradual. It's always slow. It draws you in. At first, it's a bit of fun. And, you know, it was a bit of excitement. I began to engage with sport a bit more. I thought I knew something about rugby, about cricket, about football. But at the end, I was where everyone else ends up, mm. the addicts, on the online casino or the casino games. Tell me how those work. So a casino game, um, it's just like any other live casino, but you do it online. So the fixed odds betting machines that we're talking about today mm. would be a casino game like roulette or like blackjack. The problem is the speed, the rapidity that you can keep doing it. If you place a bet on a, on a sports match, you mm. might have to wait an hour and a half for the outcome. But with gambling, every 20 seconds on the roulette wheel, it's lethal. Now, you did it online. Yeah. How much money did you start to win or lose? How did you say it started gradually, but you got to three quarters of a million pounds down? Yeah, the, the problem I had is I had access to money and I had time. I kept everything a secret from my wife. She didn't know a thing. For three years, she was living with a stranger, someone she <laughs> thought she knew. <laughs> so I sat at home, working from home. I'd do my work in a couple of hours. The rest of the day would stretch out. Ahead and of that me. was deliberate. Was it? I think so. With mm. retrospect, yeah, it yeah. probably yeah. was. What, yeah. what I can't ever understand, and I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of people watching who don't have a problem with, with gambling, is you'd think that the because you lose more often than you win, and you can see the negatives stacking up, you'd think that that would be a kind of a learning curve, you know, yeah. almost like putting your hand in the fire. You, it hurts, so yes. you stop doing it. Yes. Why does losing and losing more and more and more not stop you from gambling? I think for the problem gambler, and you have to talk about that small percentage of people, but it's a large number mm -hmm. because of the large numbers of people that are gambling in the UK. For those people um, it, it draws you in because you keep thinking to yourself I can win my character is such that I'm a terrible loser really bad loser but I'm very competitive I'm also an optimist and that means in the oh. army they taught me don't give in mm. find a way around it and that's why professional sport mm. and at the moment I'm going in to see some of the sports clubs they have a problem too now um Unfortunately, these fixed odds betting terminals in bookmakers <coughs> are known as the crack cocaine of gambling. Mm. So even for those, uh, for, you know, for an industry that has a problem with addiction yeah. and loss, these are the sort of worst of the worst. What yeah. do you think should happen with these to stop people becoming addicted to them? I would love to see the minimum mistake reduced. I'd like to see it reduced down so to £2. So what pounds. is it? Right, so what is it currently? It's £100 every 20 seconds. So, so £300, £300 pounds a minute. Yeah. £300 pounds a minute. The only people that are doing that are the problem gamblers, without yeah. a shadow of a doubt. And if they reduce that to, what, £2 per 20 seconds? Yeah, I'd love that. That'd be great. Because then it wouldn't pull people in. The problem with it is people will go in to have a bet on the football, like they always do. They'll look over in the corner and think, what are these people doing? Piling money in. Yeah. And eventually they'll go there. And they are so addictive because you desperately want to win your money back. How did you stop? Because you're clean now. Yeah, five years uh, in about two weeks' time. Did you just stop like that? Do you know, I did, and that's very rare. I think um, for a lot of people, it, it's, it's a difficult, slow process, and Gamblers Anonymous and, and other help that you can get. And by the way, there's not much help out there for well, gamblers. What did you, how did you stop them? What happened? I, I've got a strong faith. Um, I relied on that. Um, I went back to exercise. I put some blocks in place. So there's a great bit of software that stopped me from using a gambling site. I knew if I pressed a button, it would send an email to my mum. Huh. Um, and I was away from my triggers because I lost everything. I was homeless, about to be evicted from my home, lost my family, lost my, lost my house, lost everything. Have you got them back? Well, Emma came back for nine months. We were reunited. But do you know what? The trust, we've just gone, never yes. got it back. Yeah.
And what about your finances? Are you, are you solvent again? Yes, I'm um, two years after, I had £73,000 worth of debt and a black bin liner, having worked in the, in the city with a six-figure salary. Um, but it's all back. Two years ago, uh, two years after I'd stopped gambling, I paid off my last And just last question, someone at home is watching this, many will be watching this and saying, he's me, I'm, I'm like he used to be. Mm. What? What do I do? In a, in a couple of sentences, what's the first step? Oh, you've got to talk to someone about it. Right. The problem about it is it's easy to internalise. You must talk about it to someone else. OK, that's the starting point. Yeah. Good. Well, well it's good to talk to you. Thank you so much.